Seven and two and three A's. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and slap these wheels back on this thing. I'm gonna lower it down onto some ramps so I can measure for this drive shed. What you doing? You excited? You excited, buddy? Y'all, Ricky Bobby 2 is standing right there. Y'all can't see him. Hey, y'all, if y'all just starting out here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. This Turbo Suburban's getting closer than y'all tank to cranking up. Let me see if I can tighten it first. Them brakes look good. Them brakes look good behind. There's that Camino that we work, we working heavy on, and can't just move it. Who that's gonna be for? Let me go ahead and put them backs on, and we're gonna set them ramps up. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and lower this thing down onto the ramps. Get it loaded. So I can take an accurate measurement for this drive shed. All right, she's all the way down. Let's get under there and try to measure this thing. Might take two people. Seventy-two and three eggs. What up, y'all? Friday today. Last time y'all saw me, I was measuring for that drive shaft. We got the drive shaft ordered up. A five-inch aluminum drive shaft, seventy-two and three eggs long, thirteen fifty joints, and I upgraded to that Sonics 
chrome alloy slip yoke. So we got drive shaft ordered up. They say it takes about 10 days to make it, but we got time because we just got ourselves set up. Hoo-wee! Bell sander, purge plugs, heat shields, TIG pillow, the piping. Got my welding machine set up for tacking with the little thumb throttle. Yo, I wanted to do this nicely. Even though I can't weld word nothing, I at least wanted to look like I knew how to do something. So I'm set up. Today, we're gonna to try to make this crossover that goes from the driver side manifold to the passenger side. If I can get that thing made and fully welded up, I'm gonna be a happy camper. First things first. I got this factory piece cleaned up, belt sanded perfectly flat. I gotta go install this on a driver's muffler right quick. And this is gonna be our starting point that attaches to the passenger side turbo manifold. So let me get this on. And I know this looks rusty, y'all, but factory uses 409 stainless, which a magnet sticks to, and it rusts a little bit. But everything I'm going with is 304 stainless. So. Oh. I got the 308s for when I weld all stainless, the 304 together. And I got 309. And that's for welding 304 to 409 or 304 to regular mild steel. Because I'm going to need the 409 for that piece. And also when I hook that 4-inch stainless to the stock muffler. Stay tuned, y'all. Let's get busy. Let me go ahead and install that thing on that manifold. All right, y'all. Throw that on there. They got a little guard lock gasket that goes in there. But it's typically always metal to metal. So I'm going to leave that out for all this mock-up work. Put it on, it can only go one way. Put that on with a 15 mm hectro. Oh, I don't like that, yeah. Now we got our starting point, y'all. We're going to go from here and go over there. And we got to get to there. I went ahead and trimmed them ears off right there for ultimate clearance. All right, y'all. Put this 90 degree up there. As you can see, this shoots towards the frame a little bit. And you see that band there? It isn't square. I put this thing up to there and I marked it where it was level. I cut it. I cleaned it up. I'm going to tap. What I say? Tap? I'm going to tack this thing right here. And we got our starting point. Ooh Let me go ahead and tack this thing for you. All right, y'all. So I got this thing tacked. By the hardest, had to mark it and take it off and go tack it on my table because I was catching hell with it. I don't know why. Kept like wanting to blow out even at like 50 amps right quick, right here, and then just trying to walk it over. But I got it tacked. I got this. This is a slip, a slip joint right here, so. I ran a little pass here. 
I didn't need a, a back purge because this is slipped in there so it didn't sugar this, but anything like this butt connected, I gotta purge this thing with, with argon gas so that way it don't fill the inside of that uh, tube with sugar. But yeah, I ran a little past there. This I could weld without gas because it slip as well. As you can see, it slips over. This doesn't get filled, right? This is the slip yoke I'm talking about. It expands, it contracts. I'm right here. I'm coming up. And it looks like I just need a little 45 to go from here to there. Let me see if I can show y'all that outside. See that right there? Looks like I just need a little 45 to connect that. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Y'all, this little exhaust project is a little more aggravating than I thought. I thought it was gonna be easy. No. And this is the easy one, right? This is the crossover. Wait till I gotta sneak four inches from that turbo to the stock muffler. I'm gonna holler at y'all. It looks half decent, y'all. Still got a little bit of finesse to go with it, but we're gonna get it. Y'all, this little project right here is whooping my butt. Oh, well. I gotta get it done, y'all. Tacking this pipe together now. Y'all, I underestimated how hard it was to weld a thin stainless. This is a challenge. And I ain't even welding yet, I'm just tacking. All right, y'all, finally got this crossover figured out. Everything's tacked terribly. I guess now I could go ahead and try to finish well this puppy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish well it. I'm scared to death, yeah. This stuff is one and a half millimeters thick, which is roughly 60 thousandths. I better move fast. <clears throat> All right, y'all, I got everything clean with acetone. I even wiped down these. I got about 10 CFH of purge going through it right now. I'm doing my best. I'm counting my dabs right now. I'm going about 10 or so. That's a pretty big gap right here, y'all. Let's see if I can feel it. Dip my tungsten.
Ooh, yeah, that was a pretty big gap right there. I might could make it look prettier later, but... Oh, well, I think I'm doing all right. My phone got 6%, it's about to die, so I'm gonna cut y'all off a little bit. All right, in the shop this morning, Saturday, came out to see how everything looked after it cooled. Hey, look. Man, that purge really works, no sugar. First time ever welding 60,000 thick stainless. Look, that didn't come out too good, but it looks like it'll hold together. Dude, welding paper thin stainless is harder than it looks, y'all. But, hey, first time, hey, it could only get better every time I crank up that welding machine, so. Let's go. You could only ever improve. And plus, I only ever really welded a mild steel TIG, and that's easy. But, dude, I'm not too mad about it. I think it's going to work. That purge really did a good job at not sugaring the inside of that pipe. Oh, well, we're going to keep rocking and rolling. What up, y'all? Back in here Saturday. I went to uh, Brad's spring fling today, call it Johnny May spring fling, took the Caprice, took my wife and the kids, we had a good time, so it's Saturday evening, I'm back in the garage, come and finish up welding the driver's side up, and then put it back in there, mock up where I want that uh, wastegate to be, and then this crossover project should be done. And just like I said, y'all, I'm still not an expert at this, but the more I do it, and now that I got this purge on there of argon filling this tube, a lot easier to weld. Even though this stuff's paper thin, I'm getting, for the second day doing this, I'm feeling a lot more confident, y'all. That ran pretty good, yeah. Let me try to. I'm wearing this right here. 409 to 304 with a 309 L rod, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish welling this thing out. I'm gonna cut y'all back home whenever I'm modifying for this WizGate. All right, y'all, so I'm in the garage today, Sunday. Come and figure out where I'm gonna put my WizGate and WizGate Merge. I originally thought I was gonna be able to put it on the passenger side, but with this in the way on the passenger side, it's just, it'll never happen. So I'm over here on the driver's side looking at this right here. I already got a little mark, man. I'm just double checking. I wanted to let y'all know where I was at with it. That looks pretty good right there, y'all. And I could come two inch to my down pipe when I make it. Go ahead and drop a comment in the section. What y'all think about this WizGate placement? I think it looks good. And let me get out of here, get this off, and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit more about what I got going on here. All right, 
right, y'all. So I know y'all gonna be wondering why I'm placing the wastegate on driver's side and not on the passenger side near the turbo manifold and turbo. Well, let me just give y'all a little example about my theory on this. This is a 50 millimeter wastegate, which is two inches. So when this thing opens, that's a two inch exhaust leak. You will not spool up a turbo with a two inch exhaust leak on either side, even with a uh, turbo log setup like I got going on. And what also helps me be more comfortable about this is a few years ago before I was a YouTuber, I built a 1966 Impala single turbo, same ordeal, right? It had a turbo manifold with a crossover with a, uh, a bellows style, what you call it? Slip joint, whatever you call it, bellows slip, whatever you want, I don't know. Well, it caught a little, it cracked. You know how they always do, it caught a little slicing, maybe an eighth inch wide slice, two inches long. And I could not get that car to build a pound of boost with just that little slice in the line. So a two inch exhaust leak on the driver's side, whenever this thing does this thing, will regulate boost. And I think it'll regulate boost nicely. And it also mounted out my way. I ain't got to deal with this in the engine bay. I could get underneath the car if I want to change the spring, which I shouldn't have to because I'm putting the lightest spring on here and I got a AEM boost controller. So I'm gonna run this thing, y'all. We're gonna find out if it's gonna work or not, but I'm pretty sure I got a good understanding of how that works. And if everything works out in my favor, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. All right, I did me a little rough tracer. Got that. I'm gonna go ahead and bust that out on the inside, y'all. Stay tuned. Stop blowing holes in my ship. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. All right, y'all. I'm tacking this thing to the V-band and I'm gonna weld it. I got the wastegate on there so it doesn't warp this uh, flange as much as it could if it wasn't if it wasn't connected let it cool off a little while unbolt it then I could weld this thing to that pipe All right, let's go ahead and get some weld on it. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this thing some more, y'all. Cut y'all back on after a while. All right, let's go ahead and tack this thing on here.
All right, we got it checked. Now I gotta go try to weld this thing. Got some pretty good gaps in it because this casting is a certain size and I'm on a weird spot. So we're gonna try our best, yeah? Alright, so as long as I stay on this thick casted uh, stainless side and then work my puddle into this thin stuff, I should be alright, yeah. I'm gonna get this bad boy welded slowly but surely, y'all. Let me go ahead and finish welding this thing out. I'm gonna holler at y'all when I'm going ahead and installing this thing on the car. Letting my piece cool down. My arm was starting to burn, even through the glove. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working with. Hey, it's, I'm doing a decent job at, like, that thing had a gigantic gap. And I'm starting to learn how to manipulate that thing to throw that metal where I want it. Check me out. If it'll ever focus. There we go. Yeah, check it out, y'all. Like, that was a gap right there. And I'm filling that boy in. It ain't the prettiest, but it hey, look. The heat looks good. I think she gonna hold for me, yeah? Hey, you don't know unless you try, baby. So that's why we, we winding that boy. Look at this gap, y'all. I gotta feel that thing. Ooh, Lord, y'all, it's getting hot in there from this pipe. I got that gap closed up. Check it out. Ooh, Lord, it ain't the prettiest, but it. She gonna work. Go ahead, install my bolts. Go ahead and install my nuts. the crush off gas looks like it's on the money yeah i can't really complain about this i always put a little bit of this on my v-band surfaces just in case when i welded them they weren't perfectly flat even though i hone them to make sure they're flat i still just put a little bit of that just for peace of mind go ahead and tighten this this clamp up, yeah.
Let's go ahead and install that wastegate, y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all, gotta go ahead and put our valve seat in there. I went ahead and took the heavier spring out so it only has a, uh, the smallest spring in it now. So it should be only like at four pounds of boost. Go ahead and put that on there. Put your clamp. You're gonna have to push a little bit, y'all, cause you need that valve to seat off. Might put the clamp the other way. Put your your bolt, lock washer. Know what? This is all stainless. I'm going to go ahead and put some Never Seize on there first. I'm going to go ahead and leave it loose to where I can still turn this because now I got to build two inch pipe from here all the way to my down pipe once I build that so this is as far as I'm gonna go today y'all well this weekend I think I made good progress got the crossover built got the wastegate mounted looks good well, y'all, been another good week messing around with the Turbo Suburban. Glad y'all watched. Got the crossover built. I wish I could have got more done. I wish I could have at least started on the downpipe, but man, exhaust fabrication takes time. No wonder people just make other people do it. Very tedious work. But, all right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Let me cut y'all off so I can go edit this video. It's Sunday at 5 o'clock right now. Later.